What is up? Work here. In this run, I am playing Marksmanship Hunter in the 10.05 update. Do not have the Razaketh bow yet. Playing maxed out Hunger the Pack in Algather Puzzle Box. Still feels bad to cast Puzzle Box ever. It's a very long cast. So this is the update, um, updated build. This threw me off for a couple days here because I didn't understand. But anyway, Salvo at the bottom, you have to push that button. That's new. Double tap. The little X, the gold X in the middle, that's just like a passive talent now. And I take Wailing Arrow for most Mythic Plus dungeons. It's worth it. You don't push it that much. I maybe press it like four times, something like that. Maybe I should press it more, but you know, it is helpful when it is helpful. So this is a full guild group. Everyone here is probably like, I may be the lowest geared person here, something like that. Like this is, this is a pretty geared up group. And... Um, it is fortified bolstering, so we're taking it real slow, which honestly, I like a lot. Um, normally we would do like some pretty huge pull here, but, and then another huge pull, and then another huge pull, but, you know, bolstering, that's, you know, typically not going to work out so well. So this is the new opener. Um, Salvo is apparently off global cooldown, so you could push it kind of mid, uh, volley. And, you know, we're doing the normal MM burst. This is why MM is good, still good, is for this. You know, every two minutes you get to just do um, big damage to any size pack over two. Which, the over two thing is pretty unfortunate for this dungeon. Feels kind of bad, uh, this Ruby Life Pools, compared to the other classes that can uh, kind of cleave off of anything. Uh, any any counts, but, you know, not so bad. So that was Salvo there on my, like, little hot bar. Um... I like playing whack-a-mole, so my weak auras that I set up show me what abilities to push, and I make them in the order that you should push them, and I'm a, I'm a simple person in that way. That's how I like to do it. But uh, yeah, so Salvo, I guess, is off global cooldown. I haven't really been messing with it that way. I basically push Salvo like I push double tap. It's just that it comes up every 45 seconds instead of every one minute. So Salvo basically perfectly aligns with Death Shocker and Volley, because that's the... That's the AoE combo that we normally do, and still do, I think, is basically into a fresh pull out of the gate with everything up. It's basically now hit salvo, death chakram, volley. We don't have a we don't have a double tapped um rapid shot after that, just a regular rapid shot into an aim shot. You'll usually still have trick shots up, and then multi-shot, aim shot, multi-shot, aim shot forever. So the idea with, I guess, the, the new update is that Salvo, you can now basically decide if, oh, this is like a sing single target, um, you know, volley or multi-shot. And I guess you put into a single target multi-shot, but you could definitely single target volley. And before, you would basically get Salvo kind of wasted on that single target volley. So now you can decide to say, oh, I'm going to hold it. But that's going to desync everything. So I don't know how how min maxi that's actually going to be helpful for me um i'm thinking about just macroing salvo into volley again because like i don't know maybe i'm wrong about that I'll, I'll have to kind of watch this is my first mm run on like a you know like a somewhat serious key um so I, i'm not sure what to think about salvo just yet i kind of want to just macro it into volley and just always send it why not so we have everything this is a good example we salvoed death shock and volley and now we're going to, we did our rapid shot into our uh, multi-shot, aim shot, multi-shot, aim shot. I probably should have dumped explosive shot already. Explosive shot is no slouch of a of a spell in AoE like that. If you go look at the damage breakdown at the end, which I always forget to do, it's pretty massive. So I am certainly letting a couple casts go off. I'm noticing here. Um, this part normally kind of stressful. Again, they th this is a bolstering pull. So it's slow. Normally we do like all of this together. And you, you, I almost die running through that. I didn't think I was going to die that hard running through there. But uh, apparently on a 19 fort, that does hurt um, quite a bit. I guess it's fort though. So maybe those cir circles hurt more. I just can't afford to run to the left because I'll body pull. So I was like, okay, I'll just take some damage. Kind of almost died though. <laughs> not not the best. So there's the new button. Salvo. It's orange. It's on. I'm just being tracked in multiple places. Rip. Volley. It's my fault. I thought we were staying in there. Oh, well. Uh, so that's, that's the new update. 
with Marksman. Um, I did do an entire heroic raid as Marks, mostly, without ever pressing Salvo. I did not know that was a button, and I was pretty sad. Um, you know, I'm pretty... I don't get on voice comms during raid and spam, but, like, I'm in the chat spamming. I, I think that's slightly less offensive. This demon's going to be bolstered. That just got hotfixed, but I'm pretty sure in this run that demon gets bolstered. Um... But yeah, I did a whole heroic raid as marksman, and I was like, why is my damage non-existent? Like, what is happening? So there were two things. One, if you if you were playing during the 10.05 update, uh, we raided at 8.30 EST. So that was half an hour after the server came back up. It was really late. The server was coming up. And um, yeah, I didn't remember that Salvo was now an ability. And I had to like kind of just like make a build real quick. And I forgot to put like the Serpent Sting talent where like it applies serpent sting with aim shot so i was doing like absolutely ridiculous damage like i'm pretty sure the mm hunter in our guild who had, who's like level like not even 400 was like out dpsing me i was like what is going on very sad and i you know switched to bm for the rest of the raid and we killed heroic razageth so it was all fine but i was i was a little spooked there for a while but everything's cleaned up now um damage for mm is still extremely good I don't think I appreciate this separating of Salvo and um, Volley and Multishot, but I, apparently that's going to be just like a little bit more to min-max and think about. So everything's all well here. Uh, I'm still running Algothar's box, which is basically terrible. Um, it's huge AoE damage when you need it, but it's every three minutes. That's so long. And you have to cast, you have to cast it, which... You know, I guess if you're a mage or a shadow priest, you're, you're going to be casting some stuff. But like, I don't really want to cast another thing. And I, and I kind of macro it into my true shot. So I'm missing kind of like two or three seconds of true shot. It's it's not great. And what I see most of the big MM hunters doing right now is Hunger of the Pack and Whispering Incarnate Double. So I will take even if I do get it in my vault or whatever, I will actually, we're doing like a lot of mythic at this point. Well, no, actually, I'll, I'll still get some heart. If I do get a heroic Whispering Incarnate, I'll, I'll probably take it. It's going to be not a huge eye level. And is Whispering Incarnate from Council, actually? So I might, I mean, ideally it would be, um, we, we easily kill every week, um, you know, Mythic Council. So if it comes from Council, which I think it does, um, that's what I'll take. I, I would definitely really like, um, obviously, like a heroic um, Whispering Incarnate and then Halls of Valor, Hunger of the Pack or whatever. Um I have a 4.15. If I get a 4.21 at some point, that's cool too. But then we just don't have any hard cast, weird timing ones. We just have huge stats the whole time. And I, and I think that's kind of the move. So I'd like to play. Like not, I don't really want Grief Torch. It's, it's, I'll take a Mythic, but it's like I'd rather just not have to think about anything else other than my rotation. So we are doing huge work on this. And by we, I mean our Shadow Priest <laughs> and Mage. But Shadow Priest is like... I don't did I don't know if they got a buff like mid. Uh, I did that wrong. I should have ran away. I'm, I'm very dumb. But um, I don't know. If, did Shadow Priest get a buff or something, or is Zeth just an incredible Shadow Priest? Because like he carries this dungeon. Like I, in my part, I do like you know normal. I think MM damage like nothing like exceptional. And I don't think I, I don't think that I'm not sure. We'll see. I don't think I personally do anything to full wipe the group other than drop the circle right in melee. <laughs> But we're all ranged, too. What a funny comp. Um, Arcane, MM, Shadow Priest. The only thing we're missing is a Boomkin. So if we could get rid of this Paladin and, and put a Boomkin in here and he can just off-heal, we'd have, like, what generally has like kind of be, like, the ranged meta. And we're just missing a Demo Lock. So we'll get rid of the get rid of our tank and just bring a Demo Lock. They're pretty tanky anyway. Um, but Shadow Priest, yeah. Shadow Priest destroys in Raid. And here they are big. They do big stuff. So this bird has been massively nerfed. Of course, I get the frontal right out of the gate. I think we're doing the full damage. See, look, Algothar box isn't up, and it's desynced. So bad. Feels so bad. I'm, I'm like staring at it like I'm not doing my damage. I'm so sad. Um, trees. Hashtag trees. But this got nerfed, and I used to think, because I'm always, like, you know, behind the bird, and... I used to think that he, like, farted on me, basically. I, he was doing, like, huge, like big ass aoe and i'm behind him so it just felt like i don't know i feel like he was like thunder farting on me and killing me and he was but it wasn't i guess he just like probably pulses aoe or something like that i'm just i'm usually very stressed out being near this thing because i've I, we i've chained i've chained died to this thing so many times in like a 20 and in, in this this level key ish 
I'm gonna, I'm still about to die. Wait, do, do I die? Are we living? How am I alive? We got no health. No health. Anyway, I'm, I'm used to dying to this thing. I'm like, oh, cool. We, you know, we did the first hallway, killed the first boss. Like, that's, that's going to happen. Then I'm like, I'm going to die right now. I'm just like, oh, Thunderbird? Cool. Let's, let's do it. But he got nerfed, so it's not so, so bad. Okay, so, um, tank is on star. Okay, that's silent sigil. This is common. I think I have the circle. I'm about to kill our fire mage. I fucked up his, uh, his rotation. Sorry, buddy. Um, there's the AoE stun. So, like, you know, ooh, they come right out. Did I get that kick? No, I didn't. Ugh. Oh, that was a wailing. Okay, we sent the wailing. Wasn't the most coordinated. And I stood there and kind of messed up. Um, Rax, uh, you know, he's standing in a circle. He doesn't want to move. So I messed up his thing. Probably, I don't know. There's a lot going, there's a lot going on here. But however, these have been nerfed too. Because otherwise, in a 20, Cinderbolt would just one-shot you. And look how many ki We're all ranged. We can't kick all of those. Like, I mean, like the tank, you know... Alindra is taking a lot of those. I don't know why I keep doing that. I think I try to deselect it. I, I pulled up that options menu many times here. But, you know, Venge, out of a fresh pull, he's going to have AoE Sigil into a stun. And then it's up to the three ranged people who do not have that much CCC to just kind of live through these packs. But this is 10.05. Um, you know, things have been calmed down here. The Cinder Bolts don't one-shot you, uh, even on a 19. And the uh, the dragon, he's not so angry anymore. He's uh, he's calmed down in his old age. I send True Shot into a two pack. Doesn't feel good, but we you know we want to just kill things, and you don't want to sit on True Shot. Look at this new salvo button. This orange, this orange era. I don't know how I feel about this. Why'd they do this, man? Why'd they do this to Emma Hunter? Why can't we just have double tap? It was so good. We were chilling, and I have my muscle memory. And I don't know, it's still taking me a week to kind of get back into it. This is my first, like, serious MM key. Um, I was just, like, so spooked playing it after the change that I just played BM for everything. I have no kicks. I don't know if I've sent them out. But, yeah, we don't have a Rogue or a Venge. We don't have any. We have no melee kicks. We still pulled this off, though. Spoiler alert. It's not the smoothest run in the whole world. But um, uh, this team has done, and, and variations of it, has done RLP before at this high level. And it's, like, it's not usually timed. Not to, like, anyone's, like individual faults or anything like that but it's it's a spicy dungeon and if like anything oh am i am i dead how am i living these wait i'm dead right how am i not dead i don't know how i'm not dead to some of these we're a little low on kicks we're a tiny bit low on kicks i could play blasting shot or bursting shot or whatever it's called that like the displace uh frontal cone thing first of all that thing is awful you have to be so close to them that you're gonna die to like the flame dance when the flame dancer dies he starts he makes a circle around him and being in melee is bad if you if you don't need to be in this place especially but it's not an especially good displace either um and i think they're still gonna cinder bolt you i think it does stop flame dance but you're gonna get cinder bolt the two seconds later and then they're gonna be too far away for them to aoe and it's it's bad it's not a great spell i mean it's like a wor it's a much worse typhoon so this one is stressful this this is like one of the hardest pulls here we ran ahead i have the circle and Flame Goulet, the red dragon that I've never killed because we never kill it, is flying around patrol. So if you stand in the wrong place, you will pull it. So we have our half of our group not trying to pull Flame Goulet. And I'm here solo doing the pew pew. I must have had the full damage here because like that's that's MM damage right there. You can't do that as Beast Mastery. You can if the pull if the trash lasts forever and there's eight of them, you can hit that number. You can't on this trash pack do that so this this is where mm comes in for sure your five seven packs even three packs you're doing you know with your cooldowns you have like a nice amount of damage so you know that's this is why i'm playing mm on certain dungeons algathar naku don't need it another thing as an aside um as we get into some of these higher higher keys i have been assigned the task of some of the tricksy feign death uh, quarter star skips where you like run past mobs, feign death, open up the gate, Nakud, pull the two dudes, feign. Where's the other one? I'm bad at this. Halls of Valor. There's like two sentries we they like to skip, and someone has to feign like, run through turtle feign. I'm awful at feign death, turtle stuff. I don't know what it is. This is my first season playing Hunter, and I just don't have like, I don't know. I just I, I don't have enough experience doing feign death tricks. I almost never do it until now so i screw them up all the time but when they're doing like rat keys 
um, as it's called, like just doing alts and, you know, whatever, kind of messing around. Like I'm, I'm super happy to come in and, and you know, help DPS those um, on their alts so I can practice the key, key techniques that like I'm pretty bad at. So I'm really bad at those. Even in alt keys, I'm really awful at doing those skips. So I kind of need to keep practicing them. Feign death and stuff, I don't really understand how it works. Uh, I've got one little friend chasing me around. It's not going to kill me. I'm just trying to like get close enough to them so that um, the tank picks it back up without killing everyone <laughs> and me panicking or whatnot. We're, we're fine. I could kick that. Did I kick? I think we all kicked it. Omni CD for me, I feel like crashed my computer. It may not have, but I'll try it again. It certainly would be good to know who has kicks. So I'm not doing the tech where you go in to stop flame dance with this. In most of the cases so far, I'm, I'm looking at it. We're all needing to stay pretty close to them so we don't pull the dragon. And I'm like, that's generally going to be worse, is to have people panic move so don't blow them up. That's been my call mostly. I'm trying to decide if I'm going to clear with the person with the circle and like clear with our, our healer instead. So it's it's been a pretty good ring of death so far. This circle is the ring of death where we just chain die. Normally, it's been pretty okay so far. Um, considering we don't have any rogues or any <laughs> melee kicks or AOE stops like, like we know, like you know, like a, like a feral or yeah, we don't we don't really have a rogue we run with unfortunately. That's why I started rolling rogue as my main alt. But um, pretty uneventful four deaths. That's not too bad on a nineteen with no melee. That's not bad. Looks like we're having a bit of a drink here, and so far damage wise, you know, I'm I'm doing my job. Like we're all like pretty much. I'm not fully geared. I've seen some people that are 420. I mean, that's like, you must have been clearing Mythic Raid and 20s from like the second week to be at that level already. Like we're, we're pretty on top of it. You have to be like really pumping. Um, But this is, and you know, I get the, hopefully get the, you know, the, the uh, heroic bow. Keep, you know, keep getting 420 and 424 pieces. And yeah, I guess eventually we'll be like maybe 418. I don't know what this character is going to max at, but we're, we're not too, too far from it. And, you know, up until now, we're doing the damage. Um, you know, I think we're doing our part. And, you know, there's skill gap. I think Zeth is probably a much better player than me. And also, um, there's tiny things with the spec as well. So, the rest of this dungeon... I mean, there's some AoE moments that are fun, right? Some big AoE moments and trash and whatnot. But where it matters, this boss and the next boss, that is a two-target cleave situation. Let me tell you what MM Hunter cannot really do unless you really spec for it, which I've never done. We die, by the way, here. Um, our uh, Holy Pally, you know, knows the fight. We all know this fight. And um, I think he got a tornado, like, right as the boulder was coming. And it spawned, like, you know, he's next to a tree and it spawned right on him. Got popped in the air. Uh, ate the fireball. Something like that. Certainly, certainly happens. Um, it's, a, it's a tight little corridor here, so... Or else he'd be dead. But uh, MM Hunter, we don't cleave super well in two target. And what are the last two bosses of Ruby Life Pulse? Well, that's two target. We're going to be cleaving the ad and the boss. So I'm just like a single target turret. And my damage is always so bad. So, I mean, if, if someone knows, I should watch other MM Hunters or even BM Hunters do this fight. BM, you could cleave a little bit. But um, your, your damage in AoE is, is just likely not going to be very good for the rest of the dungeon, which is going to be bad generally. This trash needs to die here. This is the dungeon where the trash needs to die very quickly. And there's only three of them. Um, but this fight, my damage is always so bad on this fight. And I, I don't know if it's me. It probably is. It probably is me. But like, I don't really have two target cleaves. So I'm like, oh, there's two mobs here. We're just going to hit one of them. And the only time I get any cleave from it is, um, you know, in a little tiny five second window when I have volley, which is every 45 seconds. And I'm sending volley whenever I got it. I'm not holding it. So, because the boss needs to die. Uh, we're, we're trying to, like, you know, not have too many phases of this. Do I do a good bait? So, we, we're all doing the baits. You know, we're baiting it back towards where we were. I am very adventurous in that I like this to be very far away. So, um, let's see. So, uh, whoever baited, that was me or whoever. I think we're pretty on top of it. Um,. I am going to hot foot it over here. That's not the best place to stand. That's not the best. That that was a good bait though. Where I'm at now is not great. But I like there to be a little space between the where the fire was and where they are now. So that I can I don't, have I ever kicked? <laughs> Do I kick? I'm not sure. Um 
so that there's enough space so that I can bait the boulder back, but I didn't even really do it well. So I'm not doing this fight super well. I think I've just been lucky. Look at the trees. I've just been lucky enough that it hasn't gone to me. Um, but Zeth's right behind me. Uh, range, are we all together? Are we that coordinated? I can't tell where Rack is right now. Now he's baiting backwards. But it's it's fairly coordinated. We've done this fight a lot on like the 18, 1920s. Um, and I'm, I'm trying to bait here. This is like stand here for the bull to go backwards type situation. And there it is. This is my only time to cleave there. Just we're going to we're gonna get one aim shot. No, I don't even get it. <laughs> so I said that was my only chance to two target cleave and we're moving. You know? And I'm not even thinking about it like that at the moment. I'm just like in retrospect, I'm like, how come my damage is so bad? You know, compared to our mage, compared to our Shadow Priest. Um, one, they're probably better. Two, I think possibly, I think their targets cleave to target like reasonably well. Whereas I have not RNG, but it's, it's, I don't really get a lot of two target cleaves. I'm just sitting here hitting one of them. So it doesn't, it always feels kind of bad when I'm doing this fight. Um, I don't, again, I don't, I don't usually do this dungeon as BM. Just because the AOE is going to be so much worse. And, like, you need to, like, you'll see. We need to AOE in this one. So that's that's MM. There's just no question. On the short-lived AOE, like, AOE pulls here, or you hope they're short-lived or you're dead, basically, um, that's MM. There's just no there's no question. You can certainly do it as BM. But, um, you know, we're, we're here for this true shot damage I'm about to do. But on these two target bosses, it feels so bad. Um you know, to, to be doing so much less damage. But I, I think I did the baits pretty well there, and I think I just generally didn't get the mechanic, so that's possibly why it went well. It's the same thing in Raid. Um, it's like if you don't, if you just chance to not get the mechanics, phew, like you you win, you know, like you don't have to, you're not going to wipe the Raid, and you're also not going to um, lose uptime. So I think that's kind of what happened on that boss, is I didn't get any of the boulders, and I just didn't end up baiting any of them terribly. Because a bad boulder bait, you kill everyone. It, it can be very simple. You stood in the wrong place, targeted you with that boulder, and everyone's dead. So something goes a little funny here. I don't remember what. But um, what I do appreciate about this, and <laughs> Alindra's complaining about it, is that, like, there's a bolster pull. And let me tell you who you don't want to bolster are these channelers. So if you pull this channeler pack with the other channeler pack, which you can kind of do... Did I kick that? Maybe I did. I don't know. You'll bolster both of those channelers, and you will die. There's no healing that. That's like tick, 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 dead if all three of those are, are popping off, or you bolster the last two. So we have to three-pack it. This looks like we're running like a a normal, like a normal Ruby Life Bulls, but I like it. I like a nice chill pack. When there's too much happening, I'm like, am I kicking? Am I shooting? I don't know. I like it. I like it when it's kind of relaxed. So I don't know if these little thunder dudes are going to bolster or not. They certainly will kill someone if you're not careful. Oh, I remember what happens. Anyway, here's the full combo, hopefully. Okay, so this is something I noticed. I didn't hit Salvo. I hit it now. I'm not used to hitting Salvo. This is the first week having it. I am not used to hitting that button, and so then I don't hit it. And when you don't Salvo on top of Chakram, which is a death, I think it's a damage multiplier, it's a lot of damage missing. And it, it's, it is significant on these keys on, on the 1920 like you need every ounce of damage you can get because if too many rounds of a mechanic or too many kicks go off you die that's that's pretty much it like you can only heal so much you're gonna oom or you can do something uh i gotta move oh that was a i think i actually got hit but lived it anyway S salvo is for me is a liability looks like i'm holding oh i'm pooling oh i don't know why i went to the menu oh we're pooling salvo true shot for this so the call gets done to CC this because we don't want to bolster this person, which has never done this before. I, that's my kick. Look at me. I did a kick. Everyone's dead. I don't know. I don't know what happened, but uh, that's that's not the idea. But I'm just going for it. Um, am I going to true shot? Are we going to ever true shot? What am I doing? There it is. What was that? I I think everyone died and voice comes maybe exploded for a second was like something blah blah and I'm like oh what's going on I think I was maybe considering not sending a true shot if this was a wipe if we're like okay we just wiped the you know the trash it's okay like we're gonna reset I think I was maybe holding for like oh maybe we shouldn't send our cooldowns because if I run back in here 30 seconds later with no true shot that's bad so I die here um 
that's just a new that's just new for me does he always explode like that See, i still don't know i've done this dungeon a lot i don't i didn't know that so that cc pull that's only on bolster weeks which is the, i think this is the first bolster week of the whole expansion i think uh, i don't remember bolstering anyway so it was a double cc single pull people died out of the gate and does he always explode for that much damage? I don't usually remember running away from that. Anyway, I've never had to run away from that mob that I remember. Maybe I'm bad and just I'm used to being dead already at that point. But everyone ran away. They're like, yeah, run away. And I was like, what do you mean in dead? So I died. So I, I don't know what the hell that is. So apparently you need to run away. I elect to uh, release, which is maybe questionable because they probably could have res me right away. But um, that's such a short run back. And it's one less person to heal. I don't know if that's really a thing, but it's like one less person to heal. And so I turtle running into this because I'm like, hey, I'm doing no damage and I'm just now, you know, the healer has to deal with me. So I'm just turtle into there, right? Just kind of sneak back into the pack and not just instantly die. Chain dying, not great, as I'm kind of almost doing here. Maybe, I can't tell in retrospect, maybe I should have waited for the res. I'm not sure why I thought releasing would be better. I still don't know if it was or not, though. So, yeah, I did break the audio there. So, we're getting into the boss. This is pretty clean 13 deaths. I mean, for a ruby life pulls, that's not bad. That's not bad at all. I've got the full sauce, though, right now. Okay, so Salvo. Gotta move. Chakram. Volley with with uh, Salvo. That's the Algothar box cast. Feels bad. I do waste a couple seconds of true shot. But we're actually getting cleave there. We got a little bit of two target cleave. That's as most as I'm going to do. What do we do? 80k? Like, we don't get the full... We can't do our full opener into cleave, right? So it's basically like... We got like two aim shot cleaves, and the rest is like, okay, well, let's just focus on the um the caster. Do I switch to the dragon? Do I switch to the dragon? I should be shooting the dragon. I am... I am trolling. You're supposed to kill the dragon here. Um... It's like, I was having this discussion with Rack, who's like Arcane Mage. He's like, he can't target swap, right? He's got a touch of the Magi one person and just stay with him. I don't. <laughs> I think I switched to the dragon. Oh, we're still not shooting the dragon. Oh, still, there is the swap. Okay, actually, I think he's down and we and we, we lost. So for me, what happened in this case, I all of those times, I certainly could have swapped the dragon. He might be dead already if I had already done that. Um, but... Uh, sometimes what happens is I target the dragon, I start casting aim shot, it's kind of long, and then he outranges it. And I'm like, oops, okay, and then I didn't get an aim shot. Then I retarget him, start casting aim shot, and then he outranges me, and then I don't, and I'm just sitting there not casting anything. <laughs> so, and then my DPS certainly reflects that. You see that on the chart. It's like, is the hunter shooting? Is the hunter doing anything? It's cause he just keeps ranging my aim shots. So I'm kind of just like, uh, I'm just going to stay on the dude that's always here. And when the dragon comes down, then I'm switching. But I know that's not like the strat, but it's, I've had mixed results trying to target the dragon because he's just all over the place. And sometimes I like literally won't shoot a shot for like 10 seconds. He's just not, he just keeps tricking me. But however, um, Shadow Priest and, and Rack just like full huge damage. And it goes down rather quick. I think we had like a minute and something left. So we did have that one boss wipe. So just so you, you can wipe, you can do a full wipe on a boss. It is a really short run back to the second boss because that boss is awful. Um, full wipe, still timed it, right? Um, pretty good. I don't remember if I fully wiped us <laughs> at all. I certainly am used to doing that. But overall, pretty pretty nice run. Um, I don't know if we can say clean. We don't want to run this Halls of Valor either. Like, that dungeon's really long. <laughs> it's really tough. Um... Even with the nerfs, that stuff is, that place is still pretty rough on 1920, I think. I think it's a hard one to time. Um, but yeah, pretty good MM after the changes. Still pumping. I'm still getting used to it. I'm not really sure how to think about Salvo yet. I think I'm going to macro back to Volley, like whatever. Make my life easier. I don't need another button. I'm a hunter. Uh, but yeah, that's definitely my best RLP so far. And uh, MM 2.0, here it is. Okay, I'll check you later. Peace.